James McHale with ABC News. A damning parliamentary committee report has found the Department for Child Protection failed to heed the warning signs in the case of a teenager who killed his newborn son. The inquiry found it should have ensured the boy was only allowed supervised visits and that excessive workloads may have contributed to the tragedy. The 15-year-old teenager who was in the care of the department killed his newborn son in 2014 during an unsupervised visit at Bunbury Regional Hospital. He's serving 10 years in detention for manslaughter. Now a parliamentary committee says it's not convinced the department appropriately managed his attendance at the hospital. The committee has concluded that there were multiple red flags warranting only supervised hospital visits by the teenager, but as we now know, this did not occur. Those alarm bells included that only weeks before the child was killed, the teenage father, who had a history of aggression, was involved in a physical altercation with his mother inside the hospital and concluded the department was patently aware of the risk posed by the father. What this report shows, though, is that the Department for Child Protection and Family Support have failed this child, plain and simply. This is a tragic death that should never have happened. We are really very concerned about the number of cases each child protection worker is holding, and they are telling us that they are at breaking point. But the minister says the department believed it had put adequate safety planning in place for the young family. Sometimes really terrible things happen still in child protection. It's the nature of the work that we're involved in in this area. The committee's chairwoman says the heavy workloads of child protection staff mean there's no guarantee a similar incident won't happen again. The minister says the department has made changes to policies, guidelines and procedures related to providing support to young parents and their children. Jessica Strutt, ABC News.